What's up, YouTube? Skiz1 here. Today I got a uh, little unboxing to keep the channel rolling. It's on bombingscience.com. Not gonna waste any time here because I'm uh, always thrilled to get some new supplies and all that. Sorry, this filming is gonna be terrible. My camera is dead, so I'm gonna be using uh, just my phone for now. But uh, I got a mystery paint pack with nine cams. A mystery marker pack with five markers and a cap pack where they just throw some caps in so wow we're gonna see what we oh my gosh I'm very excited to get this so caps Jeez. So that's a substantial amount of caps there we got some Looks like some vegan outliners there. We got some astro fat, so that's beautiful. Uh, some pink dots, of course. So many. Oh my gosh. Some of everything in here. I don't even know what some of these are, to be honest. I'm never, I'm not really a big uh, technical cat person. A couple, uh, you know, fats I see. That's sweet. There's probably. I don't know how many cats you would say that is, but uh, they had a good deal on it. It was 20 bucks for, for this. So, uh, that's nice. Um, next for the five markers here. Oh my. Okay. So I'm going to have to do some fancy filming here for a second. Um, so... They hooked us up big time here. Got a mini grog squeezer, it looks like. Pretty cool color. Uh, it's got this the twist off lid. Ooh. Okay, it leaked a little bit. Oh, grog smells the best, man. But yeah, that's nice. Really tiny uh, nib there. Um, it says new formula on the lid. I don't know what they're talking about whatever it's all good so we got the grog the mini there uh, wow okay so we got a grog cutter um i've never tried any grog cutters before so i'll definitely be doing a review of this one but there you go you can see the nib there it's a nice little one that's the size of my finger compared to it so yeah uh, grog cutter, uh -huh. pump marker, you can see it has the mixing ball, you can hear it in there. This, the other grog, okay, it also has the mixing ball in there, my mistake. Um, they really, we're going heavy on the grog here, so we got another grog squeezer. Oh, so we got a nice big nib on this one, I assume that's the, the one centimeter one. Um, so it's a little bit bigger than the other grog in terms of body size. The nib is obviously a lot bigger. That's cool. Uh, they really sort of lucked out with this. They threw one of these, and these are normally very expensive just because of the nib size. Um, it is Markwell, which is one of the cheaper sort of brands that has these big nibs. But it has that. So this is interesting here. It has these little tabs on each side, which you just squeeze a little bit, and that exposes the nib. Never tried this before either, just because, like I said, these big big guys are usually pretty expensive. It's cool though. So, uh, do some reviews of that. Um, mixing ball in there too. I don't know what color this is. It could just be white. You never know. Hey, they threw in a nice little Genobo scrawler here. Those are always nice to get, you know. Uh, I guess they changed the packaging on them since I last got them. I have an older one actually with me right now. Just happens to be in my pocket. And that's what they used to look like. This is what they look like now. So, yeah, that's cool. It looks a little more slick, especially with this color. But yeah, it's just solid paint stick there. Sweet. So yeah, for the five markers too, they threw in a great deal. Five markers there are 20 bucks. 
Um, that was like a special offer, so I'm sure it's done now. But like even one of these bad boys would cost you close to that. So this is a really good deal. And especially with all the grog, that's high quality product there. And if they're giving out that kind of stuff, like they're, they're giving out a solid array of different things there. That's, that's really great. So it's good to see that. Some good value for writers. So then the, the nine mystery cans here, some are color, some are iron lac. So we've just got a black, gloss black here for the color paint. Uh, we've got, sorry, it's, it's a tendency to shake the cans, you know. Swamp, that's a, a dark green, as would make sense with the name. Ooh, is this what, nitro, something like that? Oh, it's one of the nice cans too. Doesn't have a lot of crap on the side. Nice, nice. Nitro, that's what I was thinking it was. It's from past use, you know. Um, we got another color one. Olive green. Uh, we got some white. What was this? Uh, yes. Dietchi does. Dietchi. I should know how to say that, but I don't. It's always a nice one to get, so a cool color, darker orange. And we got violet. So it looks like a blue to me, but whatever. Um, okay, we got bolt, which is, I guess I'd call that like a brown. Maybe it might spray like a grayish, but it looks brown to me. And we got lazy green. So I assume it's going to be a little bit green, looks sort of black to me again, but that's cool. So as you can see, the iron lock come with the Widowmaker there, that's always nice. They threw in some of those in the cap pack too, which is great. Um, sort of an odd array of colors, a lot of dark ones, which is uh, never great for uh, combinations with each other since you need some light stuff in there, but you know, we got the uh, these three here, those are nice, even that. Um, so the, the other ones come with their little caps. I believe these are just the New York Fats, so that's cool. Uh, so they had their paint packs on. This was like 35 bucks, I think, for the paint pack. So yeah, lots of good stuff in here. Stay tuned for more. Lots more to come. I know it's been infrequent lately, but I'll get back on it. Um, but yeah, rate, comment, subscribe. Peace.